Well, one of my favorite uh, science shows has sold out to the globalists, the corporates, the Zionists, assholes out there. Yes, SciShow. And I was just appalled of one of their sponsors, Bill Gates, and you'll see in the upcoming clips. And another uh, sad case was Mythbusters. They sold out years ago, and in the 90s, PBS sold out to the corporations. And it's really sad to see these good, great shows that were very informative in the science arena being sold out to the corporations. So put another one on your list. Um, this is a little campaign for people to unsub, desub, SciShow uh, programming. And let them know we're not happy of them selling out to the globalist because this isn't right because all their content now is all biased and you have to scrutinize everything they said. Now, I picked this up a while back and I used to put comments on this. Sounds like you guys have sold out to the corporations, but of course nobody ever listens to me. So uh, watch these clips and, and you see for yourself. And go on their website, go on their YouTube channel, and let them know you are not happy for them selling out to the globalist. This episode of SciShow was supported by Bill Gates, who, through Breakthrough Energy, is working with some of the world's top tech and business leaders to advance clean, reliable, and affordable energy, and to scale the technologies we need to help the world reach a net zero emissions future. So check out the comment I made here uh, yesterday. On huge containers to transport the goods. On okay, Dr. Mental. Sorry guys and gals, because I got that one girl on there too. You are funded by Eugenics Bill Gates, so I must unsub. That is my thumbs up. And I'm pretty amazed that nobody else has caught on to this. Um, you know, 921 comments, and everybody's just praising these guys. You know, Hank and his brother Michael. I don't think it's his real brother. But, you know, I bet that this comment doesn't show up. It's only showing up on my channel. And I bet they blocked this out on everybody else's channels. So anyway, just one, um, I'm sorry to, to see that, actually, because I really did like these guys, but I knew over the years um, they were kind of selling out, and I've made several comments in their comment box that it sounds like they sold out to the corporate America with the, some of the stories that they were doing. Very similar to the Mythbusters clan. I used to really like those guys. But they sold out when they started to do bullshit myth buskings. My, my, my. Let's see who is involved in Breakthrough Energy, which was one of the sponsors of the side show. Side show. A partnership for Breakthrough Innovations. Well, let's get, just get down to these names here. People involved. Never heard of him. John Arnold. Arnold Foundation. And here we go. Jeff Bezos. One of the most criminally minds um, available in the world right now. A pure globalist. Supposedly the richest man in the world. Here we got a prince from Saudi Arabia. A great ethical country. Michael Bloomberg. Well, we all know about him. Richard Branson. Well, shoot. Look at all these globalists on here. Look at all of these globalists. What the hell? Oh, here we go. Bill Gates. There he is. Co-chair. Bill and Melinda Gates Foundation. John Doerr. Never heard of him. Ray Dalio. Where did I just hear about him? Bridgewater Associates. I just saw his name somewhere. Reed Hoffman. Lincoln. This is a bullshit site, Lincoln. I know I'm on there. I put my videos on there, but what a joke that site is. Chris Hahn, Children's Investment Fund, United Kingdom. Well, these are that's just a pedophile trafficker. Well, you know, that's that's hearsay, okay? I'm just making that up. But, you know, 
anybody who's got money in the United Kingdom, England, London is definitely involved in child trafficking and pedophilia. Never heard of him or her, they have no idea, never heard of them. Muskowitz and Kari Tuna, they sound very familiar too. Jack Ma, Alibaba Group, now that's another organization. These guys are just like spammers, spammers, spammers. He got so popular and made so much money from hassling, spamming, hacking, uh, manipulating emails, all that kind of stuff. Ilya Group, France, somebody from France, Germany, Robertson, Tiger Management, David Rubenstein, ooh, probably a Zionist, the Carlyle Group, what's a Jew involved in the Carlyle Group? That's George Bush's and, and Dickhead Cheney's organization. Okay, here's all these people that are in there, but of course, you know, what I was mostly looking for uh, was Bill Gates' name on this, so he's involved too, Jeff Bessels, see all these assholes, Richard Branson, all these guys trying to uh, take over, they're all involved in eugenics, um, so there you go, a little investigative work down here. So once again, you got to uh, defriend, you got to unsubscribe the SciShow guys because they sold out just like PBS did, they sold out to the freaking corporations, just like Mythbusters did, they sold out to the freaking corporations.